Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to make custom horns. Hello, this is Editor Pinky. I'm just quickly jumping in here to say that this was actually an idea that was uh, brought to light to me by my friend RPG Slayer. They make some really cute models. A lot of them are free. Some of them are paid. Uh, I'll leave a link to them in the description. They've kind of helped me uh, learning this through Blender, and so I'm able to bring this to you guys today. Anyways, uh, if you're interested, go to the description. Otherwise, enjoy the video. So to get started, I'm going to press A and X. This will delete everything. Next, I'm going to go to my edit. I'm going to go down to preferences. I'm going to pull up this menu and I'm going to search object. Now inside of here, there should be add mesh extra objects. You want to make sure that this is checked on. Next, we're going to add an object and we're going to start with either you can import your model here that you want to build the horns for or just a sphere to give kind of a head reference. And that's what I'm going to do for this video. And so this will be my reference for a head. Next, I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go over to mesh. I'm going to go to single vert and add single vert. And now what I'm going to do, go 2D, press G, and then we're going to move it kind of up like this. So now that it's like this, I'm going to go to my Y view and we're going to edit this vert. So we're going to go to the modifiers tab, which will be this little kind of um, wrench icon. We're going to go to add modifier and we're going to start and we're going to make a skin modifier. Next, we're going to do a subdivision and then we're going to do a second subdivision. After that, we are going to go to a smooth and then finally, we're going to give it a mirror, which will be right here. So I'm going to quickly set up the mirror. I'm going to select my object I'm making these horns for and I'm going to put it on the Y axis. If you've done this correctly, you should see that you have one here and one over here. Next, we're going to go over to the skin and we're gonna select smooth shading and turn that on. Now, after that we've done this, if we go into object mode and we click on our object and we go into edit mode and then turn on this little transparency thing, you should now see your single vert here. So to get started, we're gonna make our horns. So I'm gonna press G and I'm gonna grab. And then next I'm gonna press E to kind of extrude. And then I'm gonna press E again. And this is kind of the whole process of making the horns. So. What I'm going to kind of do over here today is I'm going to grab these and I'm going to kind of make bull horns. So we're going to start by kind of getting the shape we want and have it kind of ring around and then go kind of like that. Rather goat horns, not bull horns, but we're going to have this kind of a shape to go with. And now as you kind of see, it looks a little rough around the edges. So we're going to work a little bit on that. And so to do so, we're going to go like this. We're going to kind of move these around. And if you if you grab this one and then you hold shift and go highlight the other, you can select both. And then what we can do is we can subdivide and then we can do grab and we can actually make a better kind of curve here. And we're, that's what we're going to do with all these kind of awkward areas here. I'm going to highlight all of these subdivide. Now, this will add more polys at the end, but it also allows you to get a better shape overall for your horn. And so that's what I'm going to use this for to kind of give it more of a curve and then a sharp kind of turn up. And then I'm actually going to grab that one and move that down too. And I'm going to grab all of these and kind of move them in closer. And there we go. I can actually probably just dissolve this. So press X and then dissolve vertices and then grab these two again, subdivide once and go like that. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to make this base more kind of horny, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control and A, and we're going to make this big. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to press G, and I'm going to actually uh, quickly subdivide this one more time. And I'm going to make this one kind of pointed upwards to give the illusion of going up first. And then I'm going to kind of round it out a little bit more. So now that we've done this, we're going to kind of repeat the same process. So I'm going to select this, press Control A, and I'm going to make this a kind of sharp tip, highlight this, control A, and I'm going to make these all kind of more gradual to kind of the sharpness. And the more you do this, the more you might have to kind of edit them as you go. So I have to go back here and kind of touch up this one. I'm actually going to re-thicken this one here. And I actually kind of want these to get thick, but not too thick. And then you kind of just want to play with it. You basically do this until you kind of get a shape you're looking for. 
Um, I would say so far this is a pretty good shape that I'm looking for. I'm going to have to quickly edit this part because this looks a bit too thick for what I'm doing. So I'm going to go back here, control A, and kind of move those a little bit. Now, overall, that's genuinely a better idea of what I'm looking for, but I want to add some more dimension to this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this mode and we're going to grab this. We're going to make sure we turn on this tool here. And if you press G and then Y, you can kind of move it like this. And then while you're in this mode, if you use your mouse scroll wheel and scroll down, it will allow it the orb to kind of get bigger. And this allows you to pull like more vertices with it. So we're going to pull this out. And then I'm going to select this one up here, G, Y. And I'm going to kind of pull this in. And then this one alone, I'm going to turn this off, press G, Y. And I'm going to move it like that. So now we kind of have an idea of what we want it to kind of move around the head and then down out onto a hook. And now what we do is if we look at this from a kind of front view and a side view, you can see that this is starting to look a lot better for our horns. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be personal kind of tweaking, kind of messing around with sizes, seeing what feels right. But again, just for now, this is what I'm going to keep it as because it's easier. So now that we've done this, what we can head over and do is go to all of these modifiers here and we're going to just start pressing apply on these and we're going to leave the mirror one last. So now that we've done this, if you press tab, you should see that you actually have proper kind of stuff here. And this allows you to do a lot of interesting things. You can like hold alt and click like one of these and you can maybe like extrude it if you want like a notch in the horn like that, right? So that would just be by like pressing S to size it up and then you can kind of add a notch between your horns. So again, hold alt, click once and that will highlight one side of the loop. Click that exact same spot one more time for holding alt and then clicking it again. It's a bit finicky. There we go, like that. And then just S and you can either do little things like that or you can do divots if you want to kind of give a texture to your horns. But again, I'm gonna keep this how it is. Um, and again, you can like, you could even do the alt thing and then kind of, you know, mix and match. Like if you wanna do something weird like that, you can go for it. But again, I'm gonna keep it how it is. I'm going to go back to this orb. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to select here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to point and click on this one. And then I'm going to go to the tip of this one by zooming in, hold control and click. And this will kind of make our path for the highlight. I actually don't like that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one here and I'm going to hold control and kind of click along its path to make a little bit of a cleaner path that I want like that. And then same thing, I'm going to click on this and then hold control while clicking and kind of click along this dotted path here. And we're just going to go around until we get closer to the tip. And then pretty much after we're near the tip, we can just finish it off by clicking the closest one to the end there. And so this is going to be our kind of loop. And this will be for if you want to texture this. So what we're going to go to do is going to go to UV. We're going to click Mark Seam, and that will make our kind of split between the textures for this model. Now, the final step is we're going to go over to Mirror. We're going to hit Apply. We're going to click on this now. We're going to hit Tab. And as you can see, these should be both marked. And then we're going to hit A. We're going to go to UV, and then we're going to go to Unwrap. And now that we've done that, we should see if we go to UV Editing, and we see our horns over here, if we press A, you should now see them kind of unwrapped here. Now, it's completely personal choice how you want to sort this out. If you want it to be easier to texture, you increase the size of these right, you can kind of move them around, give them a better kind of feeling for how you want to texture them. But again, I'm going to keep it default because it's easier that way. And then if you're curious, you can press L. This will select the entire thing. G to move it around. You can move it on certain uh, areas by pressing G and then either Z or sorry, either X or Y to move either up or down. So now that we've done that, you are almost done. We're going to quickly the sphere we hid earlier or the model that you're using. We're going to click X and we're going to delete it. And now what we're going to do is with all this selected, hold shift 
A or sorry, Shift S, and then we're gonna put our um, cursor to select it here, and it's gonna put it in the middle. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to, after that's done, go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor, and then we're going to finally add a armature, a single bone. We're going to go to this bone over here, up here, and we're gonna rename this to Head or even to make it easier horn underscore root and then we're gonna select the horns hold shift select that press ctrl j or actually sorry we're gonna right click and then we're going to go to parent object and now you can see that it is parented here to this and then the last step shall be we're going to weight paint it so click on this hold shift click we should then come up with the weight paint and then we're going to select our bone or well, we actually need to sorry one last thing go over to your main thing here go to add modifier armature we're gonna go and click this bone here and then finally if we go back to weight paint and then we're going to just give it a full red and now it is fully rigged and ready to go so the moment you export this as uh, an FBX you basically grab this bone, you put it on your avatar, this is the bone that's in charge of your head or your horns now, and then you basically to export it, go to file, go to export, go to FBX, and then after you've done that, go here, make sure that it's FBX all, turn off bake animations, and then turn off add leaf bones. And now finally, just select the place you want to save it to, I'm going to call it horns.fbx. Um, and after that's done, I'm just going to simply hit export. And that's it. You've made horns in the matter of about 10 minutes. And you can repeat this process as much as you want. Make different designs. Make spiky ones. Make full ram horns. Make intricate designs. It's it, like go as you want. But this is just a basic kind of understanding on how to do it. Anyways, it's been amazing. I uh, hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And uh, this has been Pinky. Hello, this is Pinky, and I would just like to thank my Patreons for this month, that being Tack Aim, Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino, Logs1234, Suzuki, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamood, and The Maple Proto. I would like to thank you guys for donating to my Patreon. What you guys do helps support my um, kind of upgrowth on YouTube. I would also like to thank my YouTube member, Hydro19. They are the only YouTube member. And so they are um, kind of a, a special little little goober on my uh, YouTube channel. So again, I would like to thank you guys. What you guys do uh, helps support videos and helps me kind of stay motivated to keep creating. And uh, I would just like to say I hope you guys have a lovely night. Uh, this has been Pinky.